Hi, this is Rebecca from Journal Tsunami, and today we're going to talk about Google Trends. Uh, Google Trends has been around for a really long time, and the beautiful thing about Google Trends is that it has trending information for, gosh, I guess the last at least 10 years of Google searches. So you really can get a long-term and historic overview of things that have been going on, things that are still trending up, things that are trending down, and you can also do comparative trends uh, when you're starting to do some research in a, on a topic. So all you have to do is you go to Google and you type in Google Trends and it will take you to the website. Now mine is obviously I'm in the United States and yours will automatically convert to whatever country you're in but you can easily go to this drop down menu and then change the country that you want to explore now right now um world cup is being talked about taylor swift kim kim kardashian football and american football and um, it's important to understand that some things, obviously, are trademarked Kim Kardashian and Taylor Swift, but you can also make it more generic and talk about, you know, rock stars and celebrities, celebrity planner, a celebrity di diary where a person can write about their, their favorite crush, right, without using any brand names. Um, so a teenage girl's uh, favorite band crush notebook and then you can have prompts in it for why do you love this band what's their favorite music I mean I think you can get lots of different ideas uh, what are the favorite shoes of your favorite stars uh, have you seen those shoes how much do they cost all kinds of stuff It'd be fun what are your favorite teams for the World Cup why do you love these teams why do you love soccer do you play soccer all kinds of different prompt stuff um, and you can just scroll down. Uh, obviously, Game of Thrones is coming to an end, so that's trending right now. Uh, there's all kinds of different stuff. So here's a new diet that's coming out that might be well worth exploring. Now, Santa Clarita probably is trademarked. Um, Santa Clarita diet, but there's probably ways that you can get around creating a diet journal just for these people. Um, by putting the words in your back end, by looking at some other aspects of this diet. So like ketogenic diet isn't trademarked because ketogenic is a scientific term. Paleo uh, diet is not trademarked, but the paleo diet is. So it's very important when you're doing these sort of fad diets that you do look up the trade mark terminology of what's protected and what you can actually use uh, on your books. But having a diet book or a recipe book for people that are in the diet niche are hugely popular, obviously. And here you can go all the way and have years search for different years um, going back to 2014. I think you can actually go back to 2010, maybe 2009 or 7, uh, and some other interesting facts on this page. When you type in a topic, it'll pop open. Oops, let's see. Just, uh, I know what I wanted to do here. If you s look at this little hamburger menu right here, then you can explore uh, trending searches and the year in search. And so that's what I have open in these other windows here is the year in search. So this was the year of 2018. And so these were all the top searches for what happened last year. Overall searches, what was in the news, the people that were searched, actors, athletes, beauty questions. Now here's a wonderful thing to look deeper into uh, that might possibly give you some ideas. Um, you know, cosmetic journals or planners or organizers, um, log books to log in, all kinds of different, you know, people who collect cosmetics, perhaps, I don't know. Um, different, all these different diets is a treasure trove for you to do blank recipe books on. Um, and research more about what these diets are about. Again, many of these diets are trademarked, so you do have to be careful, but you can talk about them in more broad terms. Uh, fashion brands, again, these are all trademarked, but again, you could probably create planners, fashion conscious planners, 
um, and target these people to some extent. Uh, fashion searches, grunge, 1990s, uh, Meghan Markle, uh, obviously British fashion, food, yummy, keto pancakes, hugely popular, um, all kinds of gifs, uh, how-to musicians, and, I mean there's just a plethora of information. Again, people who say they don't have any ideas, you need to come to Google because Google really can give you all the information and the ideas that you could possibly even imagine. So these are all the searches from last year. And these are the trends that are happening right now. You can go to real time search trends. So that's happening as we speak in the past 24 hours. Um, and you know, there's a lot of people who do a thing called trend jacking. So sometimes if you can see a trend that's happened and you know how to leverage that for a cover and it's not a trademark term so like space force for instance when mr trump talked about the term space force that's a government agency and so therefore a government agency can't be trademarked and so you could make all kinds of funny covers about space force which doesn't exist um it was just a phrase but it was something that you know took off and was very funny also a lot of the political things that are going on the political gaffes that are going on uh, certainly can become a trending topic like Kofefe, for instance. What on earth is that? But hashtag Kofefe um, certainly was put on lots of people's journals and shirts. So that's called trend jacking. Um, you obviously want to be a little bit cautious about what you're trend jacking. Obviously, again, sports teams and those sorts of things are uh, you definitely don't want to go into trademark violation against disney or any of these things doing disney movies or marvel movies do not do that because they will take your books down close down your account and you possibly could also face legal um, problems uh, by trying to utilize some of these names but events that happen you know, hit by a hurricane, is that funny? Not so much, but obviously it's also a drink that's in New Orleans, and so hit by a hurricane is actually a term that's used for people who are drunk in New Orleans because they drank too many hurricanes. So you do want to be a little bit uh, cautious about some of the things that you might look that, that you can trend jack. Uh, and then here's the daily trend searches, and again, um, you can decide what country you want to look at. You know, if uh, in a country where perhaps the World Cup is happening, you might want to look at the trends that are happening in that country. That would be fun. Um, let's see, the Santa Clarita diet. Most of these are obviously going to be focused on national teams and sports leaders, um, sports teams, and uh celebrities but again there's some things that you can possibly glean from what's going on in these trends and do uh, do some thoughtful planners again as I mentioned earlier in the video you know a girl can have a crush on her favorite celebrities or boy bands or girl bands or rock and roll bands or grunge bands and you can create journals that have covers that appeal to that market and also have things inside of the book that would be focused on that topic. So if you wrote down something for music and you had a music interior, then your covers, you could have 20 different covers that touch on 20 different types of music while your interior can be the same interior having to do with your favorite music for this band, your favorite songs by this band, your favorite, you know, concerts by this band. If you had tickets and went to the concert, you can put those tickets into that memory book. Um, so you can make the inside very generic and then have the cover be, you know, a teenage girl's guide to favorite grunge bands or a teenage girl's guide to favorite boy bands. So you can see how you can make that very generic, but very targeted and niche down as well. I haven't researched this topic. I'm just throwing stuff out off the top of my head of things to explore. The other nice thing about Google Trends um, is that you can search and compare. 
So if we have journals for women and we look at journals for men, just for instance, we can also compare, you know, journals for girls. Whoops. And so it gives you different colors and you can see side by side these comparisons. This is really where it's awesome um, for us to take a look. Now, it's not a hugely searched term and this is the last 12 months. So what I want to do is I want to go, I can go back 30 days, 90 days, the past five years and all the way back to 2004. That's when they started gathering this data. Uh, it might take a little while for them, but we can see um, Journals for Women has reached its trending point way back here. It was hugely popular in February, March 2006. And it sort of had an upward cycle. Obviously, probably it peaks every year at Christmas time. And we can also see that there was a much bigger trend back here and it's kind of been trending down, trending down, trending down. Journals for Men, interestingly enough, peaked right here uh, in December 2011. So that's very interesting um, that men's journals were very popular then. And then here every year we have, you know, a spike at Christmas, but it has not reached its peak of back here. So it's still a popular topic. And all three of these types of journals obviously uh, reach their peak in December. So that's well worth taking a look at. We can now go back and we can look the past five years, which will give us a little easier viewpoint. Um, but we can see that actually journals for this very specific type of group has been trending, you know, sort of down just a little bit. Um, we can see... But as long as we're making them with Christmas in mind, we should do fine creating topics for these people. They don't have quite enough data for this particular search, um, so you're not going to get any sort of results down here. If, if we did have any results, it would put it down here. Now we can also look at categories, which is a value I haven't found that it's super relevant. Um, and in this case, it's kind of flatlining when you're looking in books and literature. So we can see here, once again, we're always going to be getting our spikes at the Christmas time peaks. Now it looks like actually journals for girls really gets a, quite a nice spike right here over the course of time. So perhaps, um, looking at girls journals is really the way to go because that is something that definitely has been um, growing over time even more so than the women and the men's journals um, and it would be interesting to look at journals for boys and see if we get any sort of spike now again I've drilled down into books and literature and if I um, so journals for boys actually is is just as popular as journals for girls. So something to look at, well worth uh, keeping an eye on. Let's take a look here if we can go back to our all categories in the past five years. And again, we have color code blue, red, yellow, and green. We can see while boys is not as popular as everybody else, it's still pretty popular at Christmas time to have some sort of journal journals for boys um, in your inventory. So just something to think about and uh, keep a track of. So that's why I like to use Google Trends, um, especially for broad research to tell me if the trend is going up or the trend is going down or if the trend has remained, as in this case, sort of remained the same and my peaks are always going to be at Christmas time. So hopefully this has been a valuable uh, 
research video for you to see the value of using all this intel that Google has gathered since 2004 uh, to really see if it's of value to go into the niche that you are interested in. Thanks and have a great day. Look forward to seeing you. Hopefully we'll see you in my free Facebook group and maybe I'll even see you in my paid mastermind course and group. Look forward to chatting with you further. Have a great day. Bye-bye.